Hello, this is Dr. Martina, your sexuality expert and your online sex therapist. Am I normal? That is a question that most clients bring in their first session when they come to sex therapy. Am I normal? It's, it's a big question. It's, it's a painful question because the fear definitely exists of having sexual desires and sexual behaviors that are so outside of the box that people will not accept it and it's definitely not normal. I can relate to that. I remember when I came out as a woman loving women, as a gay woman, and I, I was rejected by a friend of mine and I was judged. And it definitely made me question myself, am I normal? And um, it just gives you a feeling of not belonging. It's not a good feeling, so I get it. I get it, the question is real. My answer is also real because it's usually, um, what is normal? And then there's silence. Because it's confusing what's normal. It's confusing what is acceptable in the society. It depends where you live. It depends how old you are. It has definitely, it changes. It changes during your lifetime. And um, it changed in my lifetime. Um, it was normal when I was a child. It was normal for a man and a woman to fall in love, get married, and then have sex. Missionary is the only way I would knew. I mean, oral sex was not normal. And then it changed to a man and a woman. They didn't have to be married. They could still have sex, but they had to be in love. And then man and woman, not married, not in love, and just having sex for the fun of it, you know. And of course the pill in 1956 did suggest that we can do that now, but it was still not normal to me at that time. Especially maybe the man, the men at one point I realized, well, they can have sex without love. But women, we can't, because if I would have sex without being in love, then I'm a slut, and that is not normal. And that's definitely not acceptable. Um, then man and man were able to have sex. All of a sudden that became normal for a gay man to wanting to have sex with another man. And for a gay woman wanting to have sex with another woman. So it changes. And it will continue to change. And um, so my question to you is, is, why ask what's normal? Why don't you just ask... Am I okay with my sexual behavior and my sexual desires? Am I having safe, sane, and consensual sex? And the third question, am I aware of the limitation my sexual desire has on the potential partner or the relationship I'm in? Now, if those three questions are all answered by you, yes, I'm okay with all of them, then who cares what's normal? Well, I masturbate every day, once a day at least, and I watch porn all the time. So that can't be normal. I hear that. And then I ask, well, are you watching while you're at work? Is it interfering with your livelihood? Then that's not okay. But if it's not interfering with your livelihood, then it's okay. You know, we're not going to go into normal, so is it okay with you then? Now. Are you aware of the limitation it brings when you're watching porn and masturbating? You know, what happens is that you need to be aware of that, and I'm pretty sure you have become aware that you depend, um, your arousal depends on variety. And when you want to have a relationship um, with one person, you're not going to get that variety, and then you will have a problem with your arousal. You become lazy with your arousal because porn is just easy you can just turn it on so it definitely brings limitation when it comes to a relationship well I'm I only get turned on by stilettos by this um, or by boots or by uh, I only get turned on by cotton underwear you know are you are you aware, are you okay with getting turned on by a boot? Now obviously it excites you, so you must be okay with it. Um, are you okay with the cotton underwear? Well, it excites you. That's part of your sexualization process. That's how you got introduced to sex. So 
you know are you okay with that if you are okay then are you aware of the limitation it brings in regards of a relationship <clears throat> in the beginning it may be fun for your partner to wear her heels and see you getting all turned on but it will get old you know because obviously we want to have my body we want you to get turned on by my body not by the boots that i'm wearing i want to participate in the arousal you know with my boots or my boots are participating but i am not so it can become old and tiresome and then it definitely would need to be um, adjusted and you can do that you can adjust by expanding with the help of a professional sex therapist like yours truly you can expand your uh, traction codes and you you know i will not suggest to, t to throw the boots away but i will suggest to add other things to it you know um get attracted to the genitals of your partner learn how to eroticize them and you can do that you can still bring the boots in out, in and out once in a while and the same thing with the pornography you know with the help of a professional you can also learn how to expand your arousal sources because with pornography you're only you're only using your eyes you're only using your sight but you have others the other senses that are that are not being used and therefore you get lazy with those so you can learn that but it doesn't mean that your sex is abnormal or that doesn't mean that you cannot expand it to make it more suitable for what you really want so um, don't ask don't go for normality go for Go f strive for uniqueness because that's what you are and that's what your sexuality is. It's unique. And strive for awareness. Be aware of what it does in your relationship if that's what you want and how you can expand that. Now, and for most importantly, be real. A friend of mine just told me last night, he said, um, real is always sexy. And I believe I believe and I agree with that. So um, I'm non-judgmental. I'm permission giving. So if you need help expanding your arousal sources or you need help expanding your attraction code and make it all work so you can feel good about the sexuality that you are desire. And um, if you need help with that, give me a call and we will work through it together. Talk to you later. Bye.